Patrick Swayze would have been 70 years old oh. today. And we miss him every day. Every day. And his classic Dirty Dancing will turn 35 this Sunday in honor of both milestones. Only I spoke with Patrick's widow, Lisa Niemi, who is sharing private memories. When you think of Patrick, what do you think of most? Oh my gosh. I think it's because it's the 35th anniversary and uh, his birthday. It's a little hard for me because uh, there, I don't think there's anything I don't miss about him. It's all the little things. It's his laugh, <laughs> it's the sound of his voice. I paid her to say that though. I feel like he's with me every day. We had a great ride and there's so much to be grateful for. Patrick and Lisa were married for 34 years before he lost his battle with pancreatic cancer in 2009. Patrick was just 57. I dream that everyone diagnosed will be fortunate enough to have hope. This was one of Patrick's final public appearances. The cancer made him noticeably thinner, but he was filled with courage and praying for a cure. Patrick's incredible legacy lives on through his movies, but there is one movie that really does stand out, and it's Dirty Dancing. That lift with Jennifer Grey, what did he share about yes. what it took to accomplish that? Oh, Patrick, he had that down forever. We called it the angel. And of course, Patrick loved showing off, mm -hmm. and he was strong enough to do all that stuff. Yeah. So when they wanted to pull out a great lift, he says, I got one for you. The 1987 surprise hit catapulted Patrick into full-blown icon status. But when he was offered a reported $6 million for a sequel, he turned it down. Absolutely, he would not do it again unless it was absolutely perfect. Patrick had a high standard, and yeah. he wasn't going to do it just for the money. All these years later, Jennifer Grey is carrying on their legacy with a Dirty Dancing sequel. What do you think about it, and what would Patrick have hoped for? And I don't think he could ever absolutely duplicate something. You know, I think you always have to start fresh. But if they're going to do it, I hope it's the absolute best, and it has its own source of inspiration. Jennifer will both star and executive produce the film. She told E.T. it is a daunting task carrying Baby's legacy without her irreplaceable dance partner. To make a movie without Patrick is already an enormous challenge. It will never be that movie, and it should never try to be that movie. Nobody puts Baby in a corner. The sequel is set to arrive in theaters in February of 2024. This is my dance space. That's yours. That's Cha-Cha. Plot details have not been released, but Swayze's beloved character, Johnny, is said to loom large over the story. I'm so grateful to have had him as my Johnny. The second he came in to do the screen test with me, it was just push. And that lightning in a bottle chemistry is just one of the reasons this coming of age classic still resonates today. It's a feeling, a heartbeat. Good go. Good go. During his time with E.T., the screen legend shared so many behind the scenes secrets, including. This iconic scene was actually just Patrick and Jennifer messing around before a take. Now I the time of my life. Tons and tons of things were improv. When I'm teaching Jennifer and I'm getting frustrated and I'm trying to trying to get her to be serious and she's laughing or giggling the moment I run my hand down her, you know, down her arm and that really is me getting frustrated. It's like, oh my, would you just stop?